Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are having Pita Pit. All right, you guys. So we are trying Pita Pit for the very first time today. When I walked in there, you guys, oh my gosh, it smelled so good. Um, so I got myself a smoothie. It's called the Blue Bayou, I believe. It has strawberries, blueberries, some yogurt. I think that's it. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Um, and then I got the, um, the chicken pesto wrap. Is it a wrap or a pita? I don't know. Did they give me a receipt? Maybe it's in my wallet. <laughs> I thought I asked for a pita. Oh well. They make salads, pitas, wraps, bowls. So I got the Ode to Athens bowl, which is their like Greek inspired bowl. It's um with rice and quinoa. If I can open it. And you can get it with um, gyro meat, which I'm assuming is lamb and beef mixture. If they're doing it traditional, I don't know. Um, souvlaki, I think is what it's called, which is like chicken. Um, but I decided to go with falafel. So we got ourselves a vegetarian Greek bowl here. It has their tzatziki sauce, olives, cucumber, tomato, um, I asked them to leave the onions off, so. I don't know what this, this white stuff is. I, I cleaned it. My thing is clean. Just, I don't know what it is. Okay. Thumbnail. All right, you guys. This place smelled so good when I walked in. Um, and then later after I ordered I realized they have pita like pita um on this for a side ooh good Can you give me a fork all right you guys if you guys enjoy let me take my scrunchie off if you guys enjoy car mukbangs please give this video a like I've been doing a lot of them lately um, I just like to eat my food fresh, you know, plus my house is kind of like, my table is being used as like a, a land for, a land for all, no, where pe I'm just setting stuff there. Mmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mmm. The falafel is seasoned very well. So it's got some spinach in it. There's some quinoa. You guys, this is healthy. Look at me. Mmm. Honestly, could have left the olives off. They're black olives. Mmm. What is that? It's their special... There's this green sauce on here. It's their special... I forget what they call They call it. Oh, it has feta on it also. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I've never tried this place before. Mm. I actually don't see very many of these. I only know of two. Mm. This is delicious. Oh, and then you get the warm rice at the bottom.
I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. It's fresh, it's warm, you get the crunch from the cucumber. The, the freshness from the tzatziki sauce. And then this, the green sauce is like a herb sauce. So many flavors, the falafel is warm. I like how they kind of like crumbled it up for you. Mmm. So good. All right, now let's try this. This is the chicken pesto. I love pesto. I'm like, I'm on this pesto kick right now. Pe oh. So it's wrapped in a pita. So it's like a burrito, but it's like pita, pita. All right, I don't want this to leak. Mmm. That pesto. And it's warm chicken. Mmm. This is really good. I love the texture of the pita. It's got that like little bit of chewiness. They cook the chicken in the pesto sauce. And there's a lot of chicken. It's like a burrito. If Italians made a burrito, this would be it. Is that feta? Mm-hmm. It has feta, tomato, spinach. <clears throat> I think that's roasted red peppers. And then the chicken with the pesto sauce. Oh my God. I look super tan. I'm really not that tan. I think it might be my powder. Nope. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so good. But you know what? So I'm gonna give this like an eight out of 10. I really like this bowl. So I'm gonna wrap this up. You guys, I don't know how I've never come here, came here before. So this place is one of those places where I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna try it one day. Oh, I'm gonna do a mukbang on it. And I just, 
I never do. And Jose even tells me, he's like, are you going to film today? I was like, I tell him, yeah, but I don't know what I'm going to film. Because he usually asks me, like, when I'm not hungry or, I don't know. Because when I film, excuse me, it's kind of spontaneous. Um, it's not always at the same time of day. Just depends on what I'm doing. Um, and I like to just, I'll say I'll film one thing, but then I'm like craving something else. You know what I mean? Mm. I think because I've been having a lot of pesto, it's like not that special to me. I literally have dinner a dinner planned it's basil chicken meatballs with pesto linguine my lunches have been pesto on ciabatta with roasted red peppers and fresh mozzarella balls i'm like obsessed with pesto sandwiches pesto stuff right now so i think that's why this wrap is not like I'd rather eat this you know what I mean <clears throat> this is just so good I do I will say that their tzatziki is a little more like sour cream it's not as flavored as like a normal tzatziki would be with the cucumber and the dill in it and everything but i don't mind it because there's so much flavor in the falafel and then the other green special sauce that they put on this this is so good And it's like a lot. Just a falafel dipped with some tzatziki sauce. Mmm. And the rice and quinoa is like perfect. Perfect texture. Mm. I'm so happy I came here. Anyways, Jose would always be like, oh, you should try Pita Pit today. Since you don't know, but then it always changes. Or I just end up not filming. And so I was talking to him today while he was on his lunch. And I was like, you know, I need to film a video. I don't know what I'm going to film. I said I was going to do the Popeye's ghost pepper wings, but it just doesn't sound good to me right now. And I was like, you know what? Because I wanted something fresh. And I wanted something like kava grill or kava. But we don't have one of those here. And I've seen people eat it on TikTok. And it looks so good. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to try pita pit today. Maybe they'll have like a pita or something similar and they had a bowl I think it's similar I mean I don't really know but this is so good <sighs> it looks like I barely didn't even make a dent Here's the falafel. Mmm. I wonder if they can put this in a pita. 
this would be good. Everything in here, except for the rice, or maybe just a little bit of the rice, in a pita. Mmm. So let me know how you guys are doing, what you guys have been up to today. I am kind of taking it easy because yesterday I had to just like spontaneously, well, I had been thinking about it. So I redid one of our bathrooms, our, our main bathroom, the main bathroom. Um... It used to be, for those of you that don't know, it used to be pink with like this, it was a 90s bathroom. So it had pink walls with pink laminate flooring. And then the countertops were like this, like aqua blue color, excuse me. And then like the oak cabinets with the white front doors, cabinet doors. So I did everything um, except for like, we didn't do the tub or anything. I just painted over the cabinet um, gave it a fresh coat of paint, added some shelves. Um, and then with the floor, because we do plan on switching out the tub, we're going to get like a whole new insert or we're going to go with tile. I don't know yet. Um, but anyways, so what I ended up doing was I have a ton of black paint left over from when we did the exterior painting on the house. Um, so I was like, you know what? <clears throat> I'm just gonna paint over the floor. I didn't prep it or anything. I just cleaned it really good and painted over it. And I figured since it was exterior paint, it would hold up. Well, no, I was wrong. It started peeling. And so the pink was coming through, um, mostly in the spots where it would get wet from the kids taking a shower. Um, but it started like peeling and like you could literally just peel it up. So I had been thinking about redoing the floor, but just cheaply with a peel and stick or just getting a new cheap piece of laminate and, you know, sealing it down just temporary, you know, to get rid of the pink. And when we're ready to redo the bathroom, because we're going to get a whole new toilet, whole new sink and vanity and shower and fa and um, shower faucets and everything. So that's going to be like a good 10 grand probably maybe if we if we pay somebody but um so we're gonna hold off a few years um on doing that and just give it like a, a little makeover you know so I ended up on a whim just I saw this peel and stick laminate 12 by 24 tiles peel and stick vinyl tiles and that's what I did yesterday so my knees are bruised my shins are bruised I thought I could do it I did it I finished it it looked a lot easier from videos and people doing it online than it actually was in person so I started getting the hang of it and then I got to the part where I had to like do the toilet around the toilet pieces it's a lot harder than it looks you see those TikTok videos and they're like um, my toxic trait, which actually is my toxic trait, <laughs> seeing somebody do it, especially if it's a female, because I'm female, especially if I see another female do it and it looks good, I think I can do it too, you know, which I know, I know I could, but there's going to be some cussing. There's going to be trial and error. I cut my, you guys probably don't want to see it, but I cut, I got a good like inch cut on my thumb from doing that yesterday so but the final result it looks pretty good for it being my first time um it doesn't look horrible i still need to do like caulking around the toilet and stuff um but yeah i'm so much happier with it instead of the black floors it's now this like white marble tiling and it looks so much better so that's what I was doing. Just little minor upgrades around the house. Mm. Not really upgrades. I've been doing a lot of interior decorating, like finding little pieces. So it's slowly, slowly coming together. And I don't film anything because 
it's just like spontaneous and then my interior decorating i'm just like i'll find a piece here from home goods and then i'll find another piece from like another store or something a lot of the stuff is from home goods some of the stuff i'm like pulling out of boxes that we haven't unpacked yet um from my previous place and kind of like mixing and matching and seeing how i like things together but it's slowly slowly coming together and feeling more homey you know so i feel like i talked a lot in this video <clears throat> all right you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give me a big fat thumbs up leave me a comment down below if you're new here please consider subscribing thank you to every one of you who are already subscribed i love you guys so much um don't forget to turn your notifications on so you're notified the second i upload a brand new video what else i'm like drawing a blank share this with your family and friends and i will see you guys soon with a brand new one bye